what is y'all's favorite deer hunting cartridge, ex excluding deer drives, so just solo rifle hunts? I love I seven, thirty odd six. Me too. That's seven, the only thing I got. Seven millimeter. I was a seven mag guy for a while because when I was younger, I, I liked to go out west. So I picked up a seven mag. And then around 2012, I almost started exclusively hunting with a little 16 inch barreled seven millimeter 08, just a sweet handling gun. And it's got good knockdown. Hmm. I'd have told you like a, uh, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago, I told you a 12 gauge slug gun. That's all I'd use until we started uh, being able to have rifles in Indiana. Um, rifles are a game changer. Oh, yeah. We used, to be just, we used to be just shotgun here. And, uh, man, I can't tell you how many big bucks I had just out of range where you can't shoot them. I, I think that 12-gauge slug is a, is a formidable weapon anywhere. I took it out in 2000. Me and my cousin Louie went out to Wyoming. And he took a 280, and I took my 7 mag, and I took my 12 gauge with that little uh, rifled slug barrel and the 50 cal mm -hmm. sabots. And he goes, "What are you going to do with that?" I said, "That's don't don't discount that. I hit a deer with that thing and, and with open sights, 130 yards, and just knocked it down. And I shot both bear with the 12 gauge with the uh, with slugs with the sabots. And man, what a destroyer! My uh, my bear, not my last bear, but the one before that." Um... Uh, it was a 15 year old bear, and when uh, we cleaned it, we found a 12 gauge slug in the shoulder. Somebody shot it in the shoulder, and it didn't penetrate. It didn't get through to the um, vitals. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Were you gonna say something, Lou? I just wonder, you know, if that was just a big old chunk of, of lead, you know, that hit wrong and just expanded wrong. But I mean, essentially, now that 12 gauge, you you put those 50 cal sabots in there, they're bullets, you know. Like everybody, yeah, in I, I think they have quite the impact. And if you hit vitals, they're great. And and I think on a deer, it's going to go through no matter where you hit it. But that bear, I mean, it had a shoulder on it, you know, like like you wouldn't believe. And I think a rifle probably would have went through, honestly. Uh, and you but could be right there. It's a different animal, though. We're talking about deer, so I mean, the thing with the shotgun is the range. But, yeah. Um, 30 out of six is with such a shock wave through them. If you use a, um, even your, your seven millimeter, if you use a, 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 a heavy bullet with a good expansion, you know, a good lead tip on it. Um, them things just have some, a shock wave goes through them. I mean, you shoot them in the same place. You shoot them with a bow and a, with a bow, they run, you know, a hundred yards and fall over with a 30 out six. They take a couple steps and they fall over or they just drop, you know, they, um, uh, and when you clean them, you just find a whole, they're just bloodshot from the shock wave going through them, which you kind of need that with a gun because if you don't knock them down, they run off and somebody else claims it. And, you know, so you kind of want to knock them over. Yeah. But I, have, I haven't killed a lot of deer with 30 out six, but I've killed a handful of them. Man, it's just devastating when you shoot one with it. Um, it's crazy I got that how. Bump Remington 760. I love that gun. It's pretty beat up though. It's got uh, a film of rust on it. It's got some pits in it and it's got some nicks in it and uh, the stock's a little loose and stuff, but I love it. Yeah. I should get that thing reworked. It's pretty bad condition. Yeah. You could probably take it to the gunsmith and have them get it back to perfect again. Yeah. Uh, my, my grandpa, my, my, I think my uncles bought my grandpa a little 20 gauge 1100 or Remington 1100 uh, for his birthday or christmas or something and it was like a real light model like a youth model almost and my grandpa hated it i mean he just hated that thing um he couldn't hit anything with it he said and he, he just shot a uh, he had another 20 gauge 1100 that he shot it was just a smooth bore um you know field barrel he used just like a modified choke uh just typical old gun you know and it was real heavy and my dad and my uncles bought that for him i think or my dad or someone thinking he'd an upgrade for him you know and he hated that thing and anyways i think i don't know how exactly it worked i was little but they ended up giving me that gun that little that little 20 gauge 1100 man we had just a screw in rifled uh, choke tube it wasn't even a full uh, uh rifled barrel but that screw in choke tube man i killed a bunch of deer with that thing growing up that mm. was I, I i keep threatening to like get that gun back out and like turkey hunting with it and stuff but i just haven't it only shoots two and three quarter inch shells. Uh, you know, um, 
uh, thing with guns is they got to fit you good. Yeah. You know, a lot of, a lot of people will, you know, you, you know, you have to have a bow fit you right. Right. A lot of people don't understand that with guns. I mean, if you have if the stock's a little short on you or a little long on you or whatever, um, it needs to be balanced. So a good gun, when you pick it up and, and you're looking at a target, when you look into that scope, that scope's already on target and you're just locked in. If that sh- if the stock's a little short or a little long, you start shaking, you start moving around, your, your, your crosshairs will wander. Um, yep. uh, it's important to have a gun fit you well. So, I mean, just going to the store and buying a gun because uh, uh, Dan said he likes 30 odd sixes is probably not a good idea. I think you got to find one that fits you. Yep. That's the same with my uh, my 12 gauge I have now. I, I have a, like a Benelli Nova pump gun. Mm-hmm. And like I've tried like people, you know, I've, I've tried other people's guns and stuff. And I've had that Benelli since I was like 16 mm-hmm. and like love that thing. Like just love it. It's just wherever I'm it's looking like through that. it at, it's what it hits. And yep. uh, I've tried other things and I just, I'm like, I shoot this one better. And it's just a, you know, just a pump 12 gauge. Um, so it's almost sentimental. Too. You, can get, you can get with a good, good gunsmith. And I think they can make a gun fit you too. They can yeah. alter the box or, you know, they can do things. Yeah. Hey everybody. If you like the channel, make sure you subscribe right here. And if you like the clips, I got two more options for you. Two options right here. Subscribe right here. See you guys.